Greetings, everyone, and a warm welcome. In this video presentation, I will be covering multiple choice questions, MCQs, focused on general awareness with reference to current events of national importance, specifically tailored for the JKSSB recruitment exams. For more MCQs on diverse topics, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let us try to solve some important MCQs one by one from the current events of national importance. Question 1. In which year was the Goods and Services Tax, GST, implemented in India? A. 2015 B. 2016 C. 2017 D. 2018 The correct answer to question 1 is option C. 2017 Question 2. The Citizenship Amendment Act, CAA, provides a path to Indian citizenship for refugees from neighboring countries. Which communities are covered under this act? A. Hindus, Sikhs, Christians, Buddhists, Jains, and Parsis. B. Muslims, Buddhists, Jains, Parsis, and Sikhs. C. Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Buddhists, and Jains. D. All religious communities are covered. The correct answer to question 2 is option. A. Hindus, Sikhs, Christians, Buddhists, Jains, and Parsis. Question 3. What is the name of the Indian government's flagship initiative to provide cooking gas connections to women from below poverty line, BPL, households? A. Ujjwala Yojana. B. Swachh Bharat Abhiya. C. Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana. D. Ayushman Bharat. The correct answer to question 3 is option. A. Ujjwala Yojana. Question 4. The Ayushman Bharat, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana, PMJ, aims to provide A. Clean drinking water in rural areas. B. Universal health coverage. C. Skill development training for youth. D. Affordable housing for all. The correct answer to question 4 is option B. Universal health coverage. Question 5. Which Indian state recently implemented a two-child policy for government employees, barring individuals with more than two children from certain benefits? A. Haryana. B. Uttar Pradesh. C. Bihar. D. Rajasthan. The correct answer to question 5 is option A. Haryana. Question 6. The National Education Policy, NEP, 2020 advocates for the introduction of which language as a medium of instruction in schools? A. English. B. Hindi. C. Sanskrit. D. Mother tongue a regional language. The correct answer to question 6 is option D. Mother tongue a regional language. Question 7. What is the aim of the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi, PM Kisan, scheme in India? A. Providing financial assistance to pregnant women. B. Direct income support to farmers. C. Promoting skill development in rural areas. D. Enhancing rural infrastructure. The correct answer to question 7 is option. B. Direct income support to farmers. Question 8. The National Register of Citizens, NRC, aims to identify and verify Indian citizens. In which state was the pilot NRC exercise conducted in 2019? A. Assam. B. West Bengal. C. Uttar Pradesh. D. Maharashtra. The correct answer to question 8 is option A. Assam. Question 9. Which union territory recently became the first in India to achieve 100% primary education enrollment? A. Puducherry. B. Chandigarh. C. Lakshadweep. D. Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The correct answer to question 9 is option B. Chandigarh. Question 10. Which river is significant for the Indus Water Treaty and flows through the region of Jammu and Kashmir? A. Yamuna. B. Chinab. C. Jhelum. D. Satlaj. The correct answer to question 10 is option C. Jhelum. Question 11. The domicile law in Jammu and Kashmir grants residency rights to individuals residing in the region for a specific duration. What is the minimum duration required for eligibility? A. 5 years. B. 10 years. C. 15 years. D. 20 years. The correct answer to question 11 is option. C. 15 years. Question 12. What is the primary objective of the Ladli Beti scheme in Jammu and Kashmir? A. Promoting agricultural practices. B. Enhancing health care for senior citizens. C. Empowering women through skill development. D. Ensuring financial security for the girl child. 
The correct answer to question 12 is option D. Ensuring financial security for the girl child. Question 13. India recently joined the United Nations Security Council, UNSC, as a non-permanent member. How many years is a non-permanent member elected for a term in the UNSC? A. 1 year. B. 2 years. C. 3 years. D. 4 years. The correct answer to question 13 is option B. 2 years. Question 14. The International Solar Alliance, ISA, was jointly launched by India and which other country to promote solar energy on a global scale? A. United States. B. France. C. China. D. Germany. The correct answer to question 14 is option B. France. Question 15. Which international organization played a significant role in the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines to countries, including India, under the COVAX initiative? A. World Health Organization, WHO. B. International Monetary Fund, IMF. C. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. D. World Trade Organization, WTO. The correct answer to question 15 is option. A. World Health Organization, WHO. Question 16. India hosted the 13th BRICS Summit. Which countries are part of the BRICS group? A. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. B. Belgium, Rwanda, Indonesia, Canada, and Singapore. C. Bangladesh, Romania, Iran, Colombia, and Kenya. D. Bhutan, Russia, Italy, Canada, and Saudi Arabia. The correct answer to question 16 is option. A. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Question 17. India recently launched a digital currency named A Rupee. What is the purpose of A Rupee? A. To promote digital literacy. B. To provide direct benefits to beneficiaries without any intermediaries. C. To facilitate cross-border transactions. D. To fund research in renewable energy. The correct answer to question 17 is option. B. To provide direct benefits to beneficiaries without any intermediaries. Question 18. The Green Hydrogen Mission was announced as part of India's strategy to promote clean energy. What is the primary source of green hydrogen? A. Wind energy. B. Solar energy. C. Geothermal energy. D. Nuclear energy. The correct answer to question 18 is option. B. Solar energy. Question 19. The Pradhan Mantri Bhartiya Janoshadi Pariyojana, PMBJP, aims to provide affordable generic medicines through a. Government hospitals. B. Private pharmacies. C. Jan Oshadi Kendras. D. Online platforms. The correct answer to question 19 is option. C. Jan Oshadi Kendras. Question 20. The Atal Tunnel, inaugurated in 2020, connects Manali to which region, reducing travel time and enhancing connectivity? A. Spiti Valley. B. Rohtang Pass. C. Lahol Valley. D. Leh Ladakh. The correct answer to question 20 is option. C. Lahol Valley. Question 21. The National Digital Health Mission, NDHM, in India aims to create a digital health ecosystem. What is the unique health ID provided under this mission called? A. Health Connect ID. B. Swasthya ID. C. Ayushman ID. D. Health Passport ID. The correct answer to question 21 is option. B. Swasthya ID. Question 22. The Back to Village program initiated by the Jammu and Kashmir government aims to address developmental issues at the A. District level. B. Block level. C. Village level. D. State level. The correct answer to question 22 is option. C. Village level. Question 23. The National Digital Health Mission, NDHM, introduced the Health ID card. What information does this ID primarily focus on? A. Biometric data. B. Personal medical history. C. Blood group information. D. Health insurance details. The correct answer to question 23 is option. B. Personal medical history. Question 24. Which initiative was launched by the Indian government to address water-related challenges, including water scarcity and pollution? A. Jal Jeevan Mission. B. Swachh Bharat Mission. C. Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation, Amrit.
D. National Mission for Sustainable Agriculture, NMSA. The correct answer to question 24 is option. A. Jal G1 Mission. Question 25. The Jammu and Kashmir government launched the Back to Village program to A. Promote tourism. B. Enhance healthcare facilities. C. Improve rural infrastructure. D. Address developmental issues at the grassroots level. The correct answer to question 25 is option. D. Address developmental issues at the grassroots level. Question 26. Under the Ladli Beti scheme, at what stage are financial benefits provided to the girl child? A. Birth. B. School admission. C. Marriage. D. College graduation. The correct answer to question 26 is option. C. Marriage. Thank you everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Education and Teacher Education, at Shokin Bilal.